One of the simple things we can do to understand a site's nutrient supply is to undertake a soil chemistry test. This is the soil hopper, a club hammer, a table knife, cloth, sample tags and bags and a plastic tray. So we're now going to collect a soil sample down to 10 centimetres for chemistry analysis using the hopper. First we get our sample bag and tag ready. And this here we've already exposed the mineral soil surface ready for sampling. We then take the hoffa core and place it at right angles to the slope of the land. In this situation the land is flat, therefore the hoffa is straight up and down. If the land was sloping like this, the hoffa core would go at right angles to the slope of the land. So now we will take a 0-10 soil sample. So we push the core down to 10 centimetres which is marked with this line here. Goes down to the surface. We carefully pull it out. Now we will remove the soil that is stuck to the outside of the core and that little piece there. If it sticks hard, you can use the cloth to get it off. Now we put the sample in our bag. We push the core up and place it in the bag. If you want to sample down to 20 centimetres, you can use the same hole. So if we take the hopper, carefully place it back in and go down to 20 centimetres, which is marked here, push it in. If it becomes hard to push in, we can use our rubber mallet. Down to 20 centimetres and then carefully remove. So we need to push that little bit up because it's slightly come out, remove the soil that is stuck to the outside of the core, including that piece there, and just check the top of the core for material that may have fallen in on top of this soil core when you were extracting the core. So I'm just going to push that little bit there back. We then get our sample bag which is down to 20 centimetres. Ready? We push the core up and you can see there there's a little bit of contamination there so we take that off. It was darker colour and then we place this in the back with the tag. In this example I have pushed the hoffer core down to 20 centimetres depth and a nice soil core has come out. There's 20 centimetres depth there and it has not compacted. In this example here, the core has compacted as I pushed the hoffer down. Here's the 20 centimetre mark. So if we go back to here, when we are dividing this sample up into 0 to 10 and 10 to 20, we are very confident that we can cut the core here, place this sample into the 0 to 10 bag, and this sample into the 10 to 20 bag. In this example, we are uncertain as to where 0 to 10 is. So this sample should be discarded. And you should go back to taking the two bytes, 0 to 10, take out the sample, and then back to 10 to 20 and collect that sample.
To represent a site, it is important to collect a number of soil samples to make one composite sample. After collecting the composite sample, secure the bag and place the tag inside the bag and one outside the bag.